by the chief scientist Andrew Yin, uh, recently said during an interview uh, that worrying about the dark side of um, artificial intelligence is like worrying about overpopulation on Mars. How would you address that? He, he said it, it's, it's a distraction to with, um, the scientists being artificial intelligence. I, I, don't think, I think that's an, uh, sort of radically inaccurate analogy. The, um, <laughs> I know I know a bit about Mars. Um, so the the, uh, the, the, the risks uh, with um, sort of digital super intelligence, and, and it's important to appreciate that it would be it wouldn't be just human level; it would be superhuman almost to the end. It would, it would just so far past humans to be way way beyond uh, anything we could really uh, imagine. I, I think a more pro analogy would be like uh, if you. If you, instead of saying nuclear research, with the potential for a very, very dangerous weapon, you, um, you know, releasing the energy uh, is easy. Um, it, uh, containing that energy safely is very difficult. And so, the, the right, I think, the right emphasis for AI research is on AI safety. We should uh, put vastly more effort into AI safety than we should put into advancing AI in the first place, uh, because it, it may be good or it may be bad, and it, it could be catastrophically bad, uh, it, it could be the equivalent of uh, nuclear meltdown. So you really want to emphasize safety. Uh, so I'm not, saying, I'm not against the advancement of AI, this is, I want to really be clear about this, but I, I do think uh, we should be extremely careful, and if that means it takes a bit longer to develop AI, then I think that's, that's the right trail. Um, we shouldn't be rushing headlong into something that we don't understand. Uh, Bill, I know you share similar views with Elon, but is there any difference between you and him? I don't think so. Uh, okay. I mean, he actually uh, put some money out to help get some work going on this, and uh, I think that is absolutely fantastic. You know, for people in the audience who want to read about this, I highly recommend this Boston book called Super Intelligence. And, but the basic point that Elon just made that we have a general purpose learning algorithm that evolution has endowed us with. And it's running in an extremely slow computer. Uh, very limited memory size, uh, ability to send data to other computers. We have to use this funny mouth thing here. Uh, and but whenever, it's we, also whenever we build a new one that starts over, yeah. it doesn't know how to walk. Really long group process. Uh, it, yeah. So, believe me, as soon as this algorithm of uh, taking experience and turning it into knowledge, which is so amazing, and of course we have not done in in software, as soon as you do that, it's not clear you'll even even know when you're just at the human level. You'll be at this superhuman level almost as soon as that algorithm is implanted in silicon. And, you know, actually as time goes by, that silicon piece is getting ready to be implanted. The amount of knowledge, as soon as it has that learning algorithm, it just goes out on the internet and reads all the magazines and books and things like that. We have essentially been, been building the content base for the super intelligence. You think you're using the internet, that's actually what you're, you're doing. So, uh, you know, I try not to get too exercised about this, but when people say it's not a problem, that really then I can start to get really, uh, uh, in, in a point of disagreement, how can they not see what a, a, a huge challenge this is?